What's good, YouTube down here, uh, back for another episode of our Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness Let's Play. So, uh, in the last episode, uh, we did actually catch our very first Shadow Pokemon, which is this level 11 Teddy Ursa. So, we have the moves uh, Shadow Blitz and Shadow Mist. So, Shadow Blitz is basically like a week of version actually no it's not is it, is it? that shadow rush shadow blitz is basically tackle but a shot the shadow move version and we have shadow mist which is pretty much like sand attack so we will see so we are actually a I don't what tells the nature but we are we have pickup which is pretty awesome so get some cool items and we've got a little sassy uh, natured Eevee here with Runaway. So it's not the best nature for us to be fair. I think it uh, sassy's up special defense but lower defense I th think it might be. But we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So uh, in the last episode the Professor Crane did get taken away by the bad guys who we actually don't know yet. We don't know the name of the team or the organization, but I take it we're going to set out on a epic journey and take uh, matters into our own hands. But before we do that, I think I have to talk to Jovi and the professor's assistant before I actually leave to go out on my epic adventure. So let's go back and talk to them. So let's go speak to Jovi. Sniffs, Jovi. Hope the professor is okay. Jovi, uh, more hope. Uh, will he wait for until Jovi gets bigger and goes rescues him? No. Then we've got to purify that shadow Pokemon you've caught soon. But if your gym won't be ready for a while yet, what would be the good idea? I don't know. Let's go find uh, the director. I should say, let's go find Mother. Let's go find Mom, because she'll know what to do. So where is she located? She's going to be hiding from us, isn't she? This basic data should be fine now. Keep going with it. Daniel, you came here at the right time. May I get you to run an error for me in the gate on port? We've all the special machine power for the purif purifier chamber from the parts shop. Awesome! To gate on port we go. Jovi knows the power shop is next to Amelia's house. Mummy, can Jovi go? Jovi wants to help everyone. Jo Jovi, I appreciate your offer, but I know you want to help. First an important component. Okay, Jovi, you're a member of the lab staff too. You may go, Daniel. <gasps> Dear, would you mind going with Jovi? Uh, do I have to take? Mummy, Big Brother is Jovi's assistant. You have to listen to Jovi, Big Brother. <laughs> Wow, the sass on Jovi is unreal. Jovi, Daniel, Jovi, both of you be very careful please, I'm counting on you, you two. Wow, the sass from Jovi is real. He's like, yo, I'm a sister, you must listen to me. He's like, what? I've listened to my little sister. <laughs> That'll be the day. That'll be the day. So let's go to Gateon Port. Daniel! Jovi! Where are you two off to? Uh, we we'll have to get your part for you, that's where we're going. Uh, Jovi is on the part and trip to uh, get you on part. Big brother is Jovi's assistant. Huh. Daniel is your assistant? Hm. You must be confident with such a good assistant. Anyway, Dan, could you, uh, could we ask you to hold into that snake machine and use it? Uh, there may be a shadow Pokemon out there. If you spot one, rescue it from the criminals. I made the approach to the authorities that the people have Pokeballs available at the shop. <gasps> Yo! I can go buy Pokeballs. You're basically giving me Crane's memos on Shadow Pokemon. They're the documents on Shadow Pokemon that Professor Crane and I compiled. Read them. Nope. I don't need to. Thank you. I know how the memos read. So, we're going to Gateon Port. 
So that is our next place. So nice little beautiful. Whoa, big brother, look, look, it's the sea, the sea, it's so big. Is it? Awesome. Listen, listen, the power shop is over there. Hurry, big brother. This way, this way. Just runs into someone. Ouchies, Jovi fell over. Well, I fell down. <laughs> hey now, where do you think you're going? I'm sorry, uh, it's, I'm sorry. Yeah, it wasn't on purpose. And look what you've done. You've messed, you've messed up what's happening. Look at Zoo. The coolest, baddest, and most happy guy around. Grr. So he doesn't begin to cut it. Huh? You there? Yeah, you punk. You owe this munch king, aren't you? And it looks like, to me, you're like, trainer. You look like you'd be a million times more fun than some munchkin. <laughs> I'll stomp you flat with my new shadow Pokemon. That's, that's quite enough of that. Pokemon aren't meant to be used in such a manner. True job, place and time. Shut it! Hey! Meddling senior citizen, take your preaching to someone who cares, or do you want me to pound you too? <laughs> Perhaps I should. Huh. And who do you think you are? <laughs> You're not going to be playing the man and start me. And this gets better by the minute. Let's see you try. Mystery man, how does has an Alakazam? Alakazam! Also, he's gonna get wrecked. A level 28 Zangus against a level 42 Alakazam. Also, he's gonna get wrecked. Yo, your power! Where does it come from? Where does it come from? Where did it go? Where did it come from? Power maybe. <laughs> You've done it now. I don't think you're getting away get away with messing with the great zoo. Remember this. <laughs> Should I give chase? No no, that won't be necessary. He won't come back. Leave him be. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let us be on our way. So we've met some unusual guys. Huh, thank you. Ho oh, ho ho, that's how you deserve such gratitude, my little lady. We did only what we had to do. It had to be done. Nothing more. Okay. So let's continue with our little journey here. Huh. So. Let's go. I know we can. There's somewhere here. Is it this shop? Is it? Come on. Oh, what should I do? My son's going to be quite sailor, even since he's oddish, aren't I? Yeah, you need a sunstone to evolve into a blossom, or a leafstone to evolve into a vile plume. Jove! <gasps> Is that you, Jove? Oh, Amelia, I see. Jove! Jove! Yo! We have friends. Ah, so it was you, Jove. Being harassed by that big, strange man, were you okay? Yep, strong people helped us. Big Brother was there too, so nothing bad happened. Jove came here on an important visit. Big Brother is Jove's assistant today. Oh, you must be Jovi's brother, Daniel. I'm glad we finally met. I'm Emil, and Jovi... Hi, Jovi's big brother. Jovi has been a very nice friend to my daughter, Emil. That elder gentleman name is Mr. Ver uh, Verich. He comes here by boat with his two assistants occasionally. There's something mysterious about him, don't you think? He's supposed to be a, fa a fabulously wealthy rumor 
like that giving me the shivers. I often become a novelist whenever I come across anything mysterious. I try to imagine a story around it. Anyways, be careful in, the t in this town. There's a lot of rough customers about. Emil, we should be going. Okay, bye bye, Jovi. And to you, see you, Amelia. Or Emil. Yeah, be Emil. So. I know we can actually get one of the stones, like Firestone, Waterstone, or Thunderstone. So, but I don't, th it's not here, there's, there's just, yeah. I think it's actually from the Pokemon, which may be here. I know we can. Hey, how did you, uh, did you want something here? The shopkeeper is out right now. Okay. Hang on. Oh, what? I want to know some. Ah, it's an Eevee. It has five of. Doesn't need to go ahead and choose one. So, basically the idea here is we have various ways to evolve, so we can grab a water stone because we have because we've got an Eevee, so this guy's basically gonna give us a way to evolve Eevee. So we're gonna we can take a water stone for a Vaporeon, Thunderstone for a Jolteon, a Firestone for the Flareon. And normally the way of evolving an Eevee to an Umbreon is via friendship and level up max friendship and level up in the dark at night time. And an Espeon is normally full friendship and level up during the day. But with no night, day and night cycle in this game, they give you a Moon Shard for Umbreon and a Sun Shard for Espeon. But, uh, I don't know. It's like, I would take, uh, I want to take Flareon just because. Because Flareon is cool, but there's not many great physical attacks in this generation. Because I know this goes to generation 3, but generation 3 does actually have some good abilities, well good moves. So... uh. Yeah, why not? I'm just gonna I'm gonna just take the I'm take the Firestone. So we're gonna get ourselves a flurry on. So that's the idea here. So we are actually just gonna instantly evolve uh Eevee. Because it'll learn its movesets then as it levels up as a Flareon. So, we're gonna get our cool little flare up. What? Eevee is evolving. Dun 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 Okay, we had a bit of a glitch there, but nothing major. Shopkeeper's not around. Aw, why ain't he around? He should be around. I need things. I require things, man. He's a lousy shopkeeper. But anyway, let's uh, head on to the machine part, sh well, part shop to get this machine part that we require. Well, that's a guy with a bow. We don't, we're not bothered with the guy with the bow. <gasps> Thank you, guy. Phew, that sells that. All fixed. 
You want to talk to me? Yeah, the pie shop is ours. <laughs> you need machine part? Where's Grandpa? He's gone off to Dr. Gamino's. Huh. Where my grand, when my grandpa gets excited over some mechanical thing, he's off like a shop. Never mind, the shop is ours, grandson. I'll find the machine part you need. Can I get you to come to our shop? Yep, I am. Grandpa should be so lucky to have a caring grandson like me looking after him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spin right, spin me right round. So let's go over here. There's an island off the uh, gate and park with volcanoes. I wonder where. I wonder that's where we find some more fire types. I love how this works. This is pretty cool. So, uh, let's go see this guy because I know this guy's thing. Ah, oh, welcome, youngster. No words need to be spoken. No questions need to be asked. Shall we battle? Yes. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you may have a shadow Pokemon. Let's find out. Then I. Taylo and Ladybird. Go, Flareon and Terrier, sir. Yep. And it's a Ladybird. Yep. So. We need to kind of weaken this uh, Ladybird and catch it. Shadow Blitz! It's super effective. Yeah, it's super effective against everything. But you shall not... You shall not knock out any of my Pokemon. Oh, Teddy Ursa with the knockout with the tail on. So, Ladybird use Shadow Blitz again. A critical hit, but it's not very effective against the Shadow Pokemon. Just don't crit. Good. And then, Teddy Ursa will use Shadow Miss. A mystical way of lowering accuracy. Alright, I have Pokeballs. Let's go. So, yeah, so you will use Shadow Mist. Yeah. So we caught ourselves the Shadow Ladybird. Yeah. Would you lose? No, sir. Yo, Ladybird joined the party. Huh. Too bad, I guess I lost that one. That machine you have in your arm is quite the get, get up. The way the light pulses and it's all mighty impressive. What is it? I thought for a second though, uh, that you've taken my Pokemon. No. I. Why would I take your Pokemon? I have a. I'm not that kind of person. I don't steal things. I totally don't steal Pokemon. So it all works. So Ladybird is bug flying. Looks like we our nature is going to be something like in the region of being special, uh, positive special defense with a low uh, minus attack stat. So, and we've got Shadow Blitz and Shadow Shed. And what's Teddy Ursa picked up for us? He's picked up an item. He's picked up a Burn Heal. Okay, I shall take that. That's awesome. That's what pickups pretty cool for. Pick up some useful items. 
I found three more Pokeballs, which is awesome. So, let's head up here. We found a potion. I know there's a good few items up, up in here. So that's why we're heading up. So, found the Paralyzed Heal. Awesome. Juvie, you're in our way. So. You should. Nope, okay. You don't want to battle. Fine. You don't want to battle me. <laughs> I wonder why. What do we got? Awakening! Awesome! So you're getting some awesome items now. So let's move up to the next floor. What do we have? We have a trainer, I think. Nope. Nothing here for me to fetch. Jovi, you're in my way. Push up the stairs, push up the stairs. Now we're up on the roof. No items up here? No? You there, you look like a trainer to me. Somebody gave me a wickedly tough Pokemon, I'll test it on you. So I believe you, sir, have a Shadow Pokemon for me to take. Which if you do, I'm gonna take it from you. I think it's the Zubat. I think, I can't remember. But we will find out together. Oh no, it's the Poochiena. So, let's tackle the Poochiena and... Ooh, we've got Lick. Sweet. So I Shadow Blitz the Zuba. Flareon, tackle! Awesome. Shadow Blitz the Zuba. Awesome. Teddy Ursa, OP man. Shadow Hall. No, basically it's like mean what then. Okay. A flurry on tackle. And I use uh the shadow mist. Creature in use shadow blitz. Yeah, don't use shadow blitz against a shadow Pokemon. It don't work. Shadow Mist! Emotions rose to a fever pitch, it entered reverse mode. Teddy Ursa is in reverse mode. Throw Pokeball! Teddy Ursa, call. No, I can't, I can't do the call now. Yo, we caught the Poochiena. Good. This Pokemon was too weak. Yeah, I, I took your Pokemon, mate. Oh, yeah. Oh, what was all that about? I joined Agnetion just because they said they'd give me a strong Pokemon. Something not like these usual ones. Well, that was so tough about that. I was constant. Yeah. So, we got ourselves a Poochiena. A level 10 Poochina. Who, by the look of it, we have a... Maybe a Lonely Nature Poochina. With that amount of attack and that defense. And we have Shadow Blitz and Shadow Hold. So possibly a Lonely Nature, which is pretty awesome for a Poochina. Nope, nothing up here. Okay. Let's go down in the elevator then. Ride in an elevator, cause love's in an elevator.
So, that's the lighthouse done. So, I think this is it? Nope. Magnetar. Well, it's not magnetar, it's magnemite. Where's the part shop? We will find the part shop! Cool. It's like, it's over there next to Emil's house. I know where the part shop is. As I said, that's that house, so this is the shop. Because the guy is back now, he's like, yo! So we were out, uh, so we were out. Machine part, you said, right? <gasps> it's in the vault. Give me. Give me that part now. It's mine. Here it is, here it is, there it is. There's a machine part. Awesome. It's a rare item, that machine part. It took a while to get the order in. How's the direct Professor Kane do? Explain, uh, then explain what had happened had been happening to Pooh. <gasps> Ice Cube director was abducted by some goons with Shadow Pokemon? I've been through something like that before, but I wouldn't thought it'd be happening again. I hope the lab director's found uh, be rooting for you, so don't give up. Cool. So, we have the machine part. So, we can actually head back to the lab now. So, if we head back to the Pokemon HQ lab, we can hand the par over to our mother. Oh look, the professor's assistant's waiting. Oh Daniel, could you wait just one sec? I found some more memos I wrote. <laughs> I don't care. We don't want the memos. Ah. Uh. They'll give you the basic convention about Shadow Pokemon. Yes, I know, but I don't want them. They're useless. Well, they're not useless. There's actually some quite good information in them, actually, to be fair. So... You never say never to helpful hints, but... I already know how it all works, so... I don't need to kind of read them. Because it just basically explains like what Shadow Parkrun are, how you unlock their hearts, how to go about purifying them, and I think so. Let's go find our mother who should be in this room here. Yeah. Welcome back, Daniel. Was Jovi well behaved? We ran in and we ran down like you wanted, mommy. Rebecca tried to stop us, but a nice person helped us. <gasps> oh no, really? I got I'll get details like what about the machine part? I handed the machine part to Lily. Thank you with this uh, with this component we can get down to the finishing touches on the purifier lab well to the purifier chamber. I should take this down to the underground floor. Jovi will take it. Are you sure? Yep. Jovi can do it. Down, so how do I shut up? Purification pro, uh, progressive, progression, well, progressive is uh, Shadow Pokemon spends time with you and the trainer, package fall to zero. Not yet. But, uh, but by the time the Purification Live is complete, the heart gauge should be down to zero. So the heart gauge has fallen to zero, and that Shadow Pokemon is ready to open its heart, but that alone isn't enough to complete the process. The Pokemon needs to go through a uh, purification ceremony is basically a ritual for it to return into its normal stats. So if purification chamber were ready, it could go through the ceremony there. Looks like we need to do a little more time to get it finished. Because of that, I think our Shadow Pokemon should go through the purification ceremony using a different process. There is a village called Agate. In the uh, in the village is a relic stone which has the power to restore Shadow Pokemon to their natural state. It worries me to, a lot to send you to such a far off place by yourself, dear. But I also think it's something that only you can do. Well dear, will you go to Agate Village? Yes. Thank you, you know Dan, I'm so proud of how you've become more dependable. Agate Village is southwest from here. But it's not very close. Go see a man named Egan there. So, 
The rank zone, which is used for three appearance ceremonies under the care of the man named Egan. I will get in touch with him so he knows you're coming. I will do my best to get to the Purifier Chamber finished while you are gone. Please take care. So, if you've, uh, if you have actually played Pokemon Coliseum, then you will remember that we actually go to A Gate Village in po You actually go to A Gate Village in Pokemon Coliseum. And if you have, uh, the flu, the one time you use flu, you can actually use it to purify one Pokemon straight off the bat. So, you can uh, use it like one of the legendaries, so if you catch like Sukun, Entail, Raikou, then you can purify its heart instantly. So you don't have to go through the whole process of sending it into battle, getting it and going to like its uh, shadow mode, then calling it to kind of calm it down and that. So that's kind of the whole process there with using the flute in A Gate Village, because there's the Celebi that kind of comes and just uh, restarts it to natural status but that is going to be today's episode uh, so that is uh, going to finish up there so it seems a good point where we'll be going to a new area to a gate village and find out what he has to say about uh, reviving shadow Pokemon and if it's an easy way than using the purifying chamber here in the Pokemon labs so if you have enjoyed this episode and you are looking forward for more episodes in this Let's Play, then hit that like button down below and if you're new, please subscribe, it really helps a lot to support the channel and support the playthrough as well. And do um, be sure to check out the other content I have on my channel as well, all links will be in the description below. But other than that, we'll catch you guys next time.